Hi everyone, Nona here, and I'd like to invite you to join me as we take another look at the demo that we posted a few days back um, covering the first movement of bird from Five Animal Sports. Uh, I'd like to take another look with you and go a little bit deeper uh, with the possible body regulations that you could be doing for this first bird movement. Let's take a look. So here we are with Javi demoing bird flapping. We are especially interested in the chest bow in this whole set of the bird because the uh, organ for the bird is the lung. As we mentioned before, Javi is doing a nice job demonstrating really this chest bow action here. And this movement right here, we will address in another video specifically to help you uh, really get that balance and do that movement effectively. So here he's alternating his arms left and right and this is especially important because the different hand positions allow for different parts of the lungs to be accessed as the chest butt opens and closes. So again, this very more challenging uh, movement that we'll talk about at a later time. And then he's gonna move right back into the alternating left and right. So again, he flops left arm to the front and the other arm to the side. So the front arm, when he flaps that wing, hit the front part of the lungs are relaxed and the back kind of gets stretched forward. At least the front outer corner of the lungs gets stretched forward. Coordinating the breath. Let's do a few rounds of this movement as a follow along. We'll be taking a look at the regulation of the breath, coordinating the inhales and exhales with each movement. Let's get started. Begin here by standing in a relaxed position, taking a few deep inhales and exhales in order to settle the body and calm and focus the mind. Good. We'll be beginning here by taking our first step with the left foot the left arm also comes up in front of us circles to the right and then as we take that left foot step the left arm lifts up as we inhale the chest opens exhaling arms float down inhaling in the opposite direction arms flow up the chest bow opens exhale chest bow closes inhale chest bow opens exhale chest bow close and arms follow inhale chest bow opens and both arms rise to the front exhale chest closes arms float down inhaling now chest is open and the back even arcs pressing arms to the back and the fo foot is allowed to rise gently. Don't worry about lifting the foot too high here as you begin learning this movement. Now we switch to the other side, right foot forward, arm circles forward, inhaling chest opens. Exhaling, chest closes, the arms float to follow. Inhale, chest opens and the arms float up. Exhale, chest closes and the arms float down. Inhale, chest opens, arms float up. Exhale, arms float down. Inhale, 
both arms to the front. Exhale, chest closes. Arms float down, inhaling. Chest opens, pressing the hands back, arcing the back, and allowing the foot to gently come up. Now, don't worry about holding as long as Javi does here. On your next exhale, go ahead and come to a standing position to wait for the other side. Taking a step forward with the left foot now. Chest opens with the inhale and the wings float up. Exhaling, chest closes and the wings float down. Inhale, chest opens, alternating the position of the hands. Exhaling, chest closes. Inhaling, chest opens and the arms lift. Exhale, arm down, inhale, both arms lift to the front. Exhale, arms float down, chest is closed. Now, inhale, open the chest, arc the back, press the hands back and the foot should glide up. Take a few breaths here if you feel, or on your next exhale, go ahead and bring that foot down and come to the starting standing position to wait for Javi to begin the next side. Taking a step forward here with your right foot, right arm circles around, inhaling, chest opens, drawing the wings up. Exhale, the chest closes, drawing the wings down. Inhale, chest opens, flopping up. Exhale, beginning with the chest and the flap goes down. Inhaling both arms to the front. Exhaling, the chest is first to close here. And inhaling, arcing the back because the chest allows the hands and the back to arc and the foot to lift. Few deep breaths here. Again, coming down to the standing position on your exhale if you feel the need or if you'd like to challenge yourself with the balance here, taking a few deep inhales, keeping the chest as open to allow for the stability of the back in the position. Hopefully there you felt a gentle left-right pumping action as you alternated sides and also a gentle front back as you swung to the front and to the back. Let's continue on again for a few more rounds. This gentle opening and closing of the chest bone accessing the lungs is actually also awakening the region of the abdomen um, and the organs that reside there, especially the large intestine. If you begin to be able to feel into that zone and kind of imagine where the large intestine resides, and you can watch him do one more round of this alternating opening and closing of the chest. That area really gets expansion and a compression. 
and this is awakening the large intestine and I mentioned this because even though we're focusing on the lungs the paired organ and in Chinese medicine there's always a paired uh, yin and yang organ so the yin organ is lungs and the paired yang organ is the large intestines and even though we are more focused on the lungs as a side effect the um, yang organ is also worked upon in this way he is going to inhale open exhale close and as you're doing this at home as well inhaling opening the chest exhaling close see if you can also take a moment to just notice how that region around the intestines opening and closing as well and just for a moment because you really don't need to put your mind there but at this time but really focus on the chest opening and closing Now we can talk about the alternating leg that's posted on as well. Dr. Yang, our teacher, likes to talk about um, how when there's one leg uh, posted on, the standing leg, and one leg more relaxed, either in front or in back, the two sides of the body have an asymmetrical distribution of your weight. And so therefore the tissues are definitely going to be moved, used, accessed, and called upon in different ways. So the alternating all actually helps you allow for a different movement of the tissues. So he also says to experiment with how um, the angle, how much to the side or a little further to the back that side arm goes. So and see how it feels in the chest region and the lung region, how, what kind of effect it has on your breathing as you're doing that. So that concludes the first movement of bird from five animal sports, bird flapping. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning a little bit more about the physical body regulation that could be happening, uh, taking your practice a little bit deeper with each repetition. Um, we look forward to sharing with you um, further videos on uh, different regulations. We wanna add breath regulation, mind regulation, uh, and chi as uh, you progress in your practice of this wonderful set with us um, and also share with you some common mistakes possibly um, and show you side-by-side uh, -side views of what to do and what not to do in terms of physical body regulation as well as touch on some of those ch more challenging positions and to uh, give you some ideas on how you can reach a soaring state like Javi has demoed for us here today. Thanks again and hope to see you uh, as we take our journey uh, in our Qigong practice, practice together. All right, till next time.